There are three parts. Part 1, what are PoE injector and PoE splitter? Although PoE compatible switches exist, many homes, offices, and businesses have non-PoE switches already installed. Replacing the millions of non-PoE compatible switches is not a viable solution, nor is unnecessarily running two cables, one for power and one for data, to a device that could be operated with just one cable. A PoE injector is a device used to add power to an Ethernet cable for PoE equipment. It mixes power and data to output as PoE. A PoE splitter functions oppositely to a PoE injector. Rather than taking both a power input and a data input and turning them into a singular power or data output, a PoE splitter takes a power or data input and turns it into two separate outputs, one for power and one for data. PoE splitters are the devices that are used together with PoE switches and PoE injectors. They supply power by splitting the power from the data and feeding it to a separate input that a non-PoE compliant device can use. As shown in Figure 1, there are two output cables on one side of the PoE splitter, one supplies data, and the other supplies power. In general, PoE splitters are often used in the scenario when there are remote non-PoE devices with no nearby AC outlets. Part 2, Product Family. For PoE injector, we have a rate from 100 megabits per second to 1000 megabits per second. The name with 31 is a 100 megabit port, and 51 is a gigabit port. 48 volts is standard, 24 volts is non-standard, Use 24 volts for CPE. The last two are industrial grade, minus 40 80 degrees Celsius. The most commonly used security scenarios recommend 30 watts 100 megabit and gigabit. The last one is IP68 waterproof. PoE splitter family, we have rates from 100 megabits per second to 1000 megabits per second. The first one is not waterproof to put in the iron case and supports DC output, 12 volts, 16 volts, 24 volts, and 48 volts. The second output is 12 volts. The last one is IP68 waterproof. Part 3 is the network solution. For example, you want to connect the monitoring room and IPC or digital signage. But with the old camera, does not support PoE-in, this time you can use a splitter, PoE into data and power, data can send back the camera screen, and power the digital signage. Although this one has only one DC port, the output voltage can be selected by dialing a code, so there are more optional devices. We also can use our injector and splitter in these scenarios, 